What's up, Oaks? Today I've got some rad knee pads for you guys. These are the Race Face Charge. these for around about eight months now and these are my go-to knee pads knee guards protectors scratch resistors that's it so to me knee guards is a very personal thing when I was shopping for these I was looking at a couple of criterias form and functionality as well as price we've all got bills to pay kids to raise bikes to buy rent to pay it's crazy it's Murphy's law that a lot of times at a four, I'm not wearing knee pads. And the reason why I'm not wearing knee pads is because they feel all cuck-like. I've tried some other knee guards in the past and they just didn't do it for me. I mean, they were slipping off or they were feeling uncomfortable or they just look bulky. They sit way forward off your kneecap. It looks like someone's taken a baseball bat and clobbered your knees. It just looks gross. So I needed some knee pads that look kiff or were lightweight they are comfortable and like you know they just look good if you've got a pair of uncomfortable knee guards and you thinking about that on the trail instead of riding things go wrong very quickly here's the scenario you've just found the sickest piece of trail in your life you're riding along you go down your knee guard starts flopping around you can't stop thinking about it poof buff <coughs> You know, it's like, oh, we just, oh, you yeah. know. You wake up and you've just had the hardest crash of your life. Not cool. Not cool at all. So these are the race phase charge. 95% of the time I go to my closet and I'm reaching for these. Because these are just so light and they sit so comfortable and they feel kiff. Q scale check. I'm pretty impressed with the construction of these. I've been in these for about eight months now and they're still holding up really well. The outer material is a moisture wicking breathable fabric, which is actually pretty rad. Like I don't feel very hot in these when I'm riding. The only time I'm really feeling warm is when my legs are cucking off on the climbs. That's the only time I really notice that my legs are, are feeling hot. I can do an all day mission with these on and they just feel so good, I barely notice that they're on. What's kiff about these is that the length of it is perfect. If you are secretly wearing bibs under your shorts, which most of us do, when you slip it on, it comes quite high up your thigh. It's actually being held in place twice. Once with the silicone band around the actual knee pads and second around the silicone band of your spandex. Cycling shorts right your spandex or cycling shorts whatever you want to call it they actually go over this and they grab it as well so it helps lock it into place that's a great idea it's a moisture wicking breathable fabric around the legs and the part that goes on your kneecap is a kevlar with like a neoprene sponge on the inside I haven't opened these up but to me it feels like it's a wetsuit kind of neoprene rubber that's inside of these don't know it's not much protection but it really does help these things are not DH approved and not impact resistant I've fallen a bunch of times with these and apart from a little bit of carpet burn on my knees I was okay so here's what's up with these race phase charge depending on the impact the speed that you're going when you fall where you're falling these will leave a roasty you will have a roasty on your knee and you can show your friends and you can brag about it as mentioned before they're not DH rated so don't go riding down downhill trails with these things because you will probably break a kneecap they're very thin it's a neoprene foam material that's inside of there and that's all that is offering you the protection 
There's no special fancy hardening foams or harder impact resistant materials or dough or anything that's going to protect you. It's only a neoprene-ish rubbery foam. That's it. I'm a trail rider and I ride these length. But these are more suited for the XC rider, the Jeep track junkie and the rider that just wants that little bit of extra protection or safety net just to catch them in case they fall or the guy that's prone to falling a lot at slow speeds like I do but if you're prone to falling and you ride hardcore rough rocky DH trails and enduro trails I suggest you look at something else because these just aren't going to cut it these aren't made for hardcore riding so if you're going to ride like a goon I suggest you get something else so it's game over for this episode if you dig what I'm doing, you want to support me, you want to hook up again, hit the subscribe button, join me on one of my accounts below. We'll hook up next time, we can be friends, leave a comment if there's any products you want me to test. I'll try my hardest to get my hands on them. I will mail distributors, people, salesmen, manufacturers, anybody who can help me out with getting my hands on the products you guys want to see. I will try my hardest to get them. Okay, leave a comment below. I'll get right back to you. Happy Valley Mikey's.